I'm gonna show you 10 ways that you can make videos faster and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, as a content creator, you gotta make a ton of videos. So it's extremely important that you learn how to speed up that process so that you can become a content producing machine. The tips that I'm getting ready to give you are mine. If you have any additions to this list, please leave them down in the comments below for other people that are gonna be watching this video. Number one, set aside time to brainstorm topics. A lot of creators will say, okay, hey, today is video day. I need to come up with a topic to make a video about what's it going to be. And then they just go a video at a time, a day at a time. That is not the best way to do it. And you can cause yourself a lot of stress doing it that way. So if you can put out a block of time in one day out of the month and sit down and write down a big list of video ideas, that is massively going to help you speed up your video creation process. At the very least, try to come up with two or three video ideas at a time so that the rest of the information that I'm sharing in this video will make sense and it will help you with your workflow of getting all this stuff together faster. Number two is to mass produce your content. This doesn't work for every type of channel out there, but if you're a talking head style channel or a vlogger or something like that, you can make a lot of content in one sitting or in one roaming around if you're a vlogger. But you get what I'm getting at. What I'm trying to express is that if the content that you make allows for it, then making more than one video per session will actually stack up your content so that it kind of relieves that stress and it'll help you make videos faster. Numero trace three, I think that is. Be or become a collector. What I mean by that is if you are making videos to where you know that, hey, I'm gonna be doing these particular topics from step one, Whenever it comes time to start putting your graphics together in terms of your video graphics, your stock videos that you're using, the stock photos, any of the actual graphics themselves, or any of that stuff that you need to go and collect in order to add it to your videos, when you know the videos that you're going to be making, it's going to massively help you collect all of the right stuff and you can put it all into a folder so that when it comes to making the other two or three videos, then you're not gonna have to go and look for all of that stuff because you're gonna have a majority of it already. And that's very helpful if you're making any type of educational content or anything like that where you're having to like really dig into stuff in order to get the right images and the right video clips for it. Very helpful for that. Four, use a consistent video structure. If you have a consistent video structure, then you know, hey, my video starts, I gotta say this. When my video opens up and I start getting into the actual content, then I need to do it kind of like this. And when you have that structure in place and you're doing it that way, it's going to help you know, hey, these are the things that I need to make sure that I have in all of my videos so that you don't have to spend time reinventing the wheel with every single video that you make. And of course, if you're doing like filmmaking, then I know that you have to do things a little bit differently because you're trying to make each individual film, you know, its own unique piece, but for everybody else, this applies to you. Five, use visual branding. This helps you keep from having to recreate themes for every single video that you make. Here's what I mean. Use the same intro in your videos. Use the same lower thirds in your videos. Use the same transitions in your videos. The same music if you want to. The same end screens, all of it. Basically get your asset pack together and say this is the stuff that I'm using in all my videos and use it in all of your videos. This saves you tons of time in recreating a bunch of stuff to add to your videos. Next up is to organize your workflow. Here's the thing, and this is why this is so important. That thing that I said in the beginning about making tons of content, the more content that you make, the easier it is to get unorganized. So it's extremely important that you get your folder structure together, that you organize all your video assets, your music, all the stock clips and photos and all that stuff that you're doing. The actual process of, I'm gonna come up with my video idea here and then I'm gonna do these particular things in order to create the content and then I'm gonna publish here. When I go through the publish, this is the process that I'm actually going to run through when I'm publishing for, for putting in my descriptions and keywords and all that stuff. Put together that standard operating procedure and when you do, you're gonna get so familiar with it that it's going to speed up every aspect of what it is that you're doing when it comes to content creation. Next up on the list is to use templates as much as humanly possible. Basically take your main editing template, your actual video file, start with a blank one and put all of your visual and audio assets into it, all of your branding stuff, put it in there so that when you open up that file, all you have to do is go through and drop in your actual video clips and then all the other stuff, you just move it around, it's already in there, you don't have to go find it and pull it in and waste all of that time. And I know you're thinking, Nick, that's not really a ton of time. You know, it's just a couple minutes here pulling in this intro and just a couple minutes here grabbing this lower third and just a couple minutes over here grabbing this end screen. And yeah, I get it. But then you scale that over the course of, you know, a hundred videos. 
It's a lot of minutes. Next on the list is keeping it simple. As content creators, we want our stuff to be as awesome as humanly possible. In a lot of cases, that means that we're adding tons of stuff to the videos that in a lot of cases we don't even really need. That can be how we're editing. That can be the amount of graphics that we're adding to it. When we're adding graphics, maybe it's the amount of motion that we're adding to it and things like that. It's, you know, it can get kind of difficult to go simple. I'll be honest, you know, you probably know it too, but at the end of the day, if you can kind of cut back on all of the different things that you're doing and experiment with them to see what is actually required and what's not, it can make a really, really big difference. Another thing that is also a very important factor of keeping it simple is experimenting with using bullet points instead of scripts or experimenting with just going with a topic and just rambling on about it and seeing how it comes out. You know, see what works best for you and what keeps it all simple so that you can make videos faster. Next one on the list is to keep your equipment set up as long as that's possible. I know you might record in your living room where, you know, it's not really that practical to leave everything set up. You might record in your bedroom where it's also not that practical to set up, but if you can find a corner or, you know, another room or the basement or the garage or somewhere where you can keep your equipment set up, it can help you with the process of making videos because you don't have to set up your lights every time. You don't have to move your tripod into place. You don't have to just spend the time adjusting everything and making sure that everything's right. It's there. You come in, you turn it on and you go for it. It makes everything so much faster and you'll be so happy that you did that if you can keep your equipment set up. Next up is the plan everything. The more that you know about what it is that you are going to be creating, the more that you're going to open yourself up for speeding up the process because you're going to know exactly what it is that you're going to be creating, which means you know what assets that you need to collect in terms of stock and all of that. You know exactly how your structure is going to be. And you can plan this entire thing out so that your workflow is tight. It's all organized and running like a smooth oiled machine because you took an hour or two to sit down and actually plan out what it is that you're going to be doing over the next few months. It can all make a really big difference. And if you can set aside the time to plan all of this stuff out and to, you know, just make it a priority. Say, I'm going to you know what I'm actually going to plan this stuff out so that I can take some of the strain and pressure off of making content. It's really going to benefit you long term because this whole video thing, it's a long term commitment and you can do it. No problem at all. So just sit down, get your plan together, figure out what it is you're going to be doing, your video structure, how you can keep your gear set up and all that stuff and you'll be fine. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.